loosen the lug or wheel nuts while the vehicle is still on the ground, and raise the vehicle to a comfortable working position. Consult owner's manual for the recommended rotation sequence and check and compare the type of tire fitted with the original specification. If the original wheels and tires have been changed for aftermarket replacements, locate the recommendations for wheel rotation according to the aftermarket manufacturer. Check to see that radial tires are not mixed with bias tires on the vehicle. If there is a mixture, the bias tires should be installed on the front and the radials on the rear. Note that some vehicles have smaller sized tires on the front and these must not be rotated to the rear. Normally, the wheels and tires are rotated by moving front tires to the rear and the rear to the front. However, in some arrangements they are moved diagonally so the procedure should only be carried out in accordance with the vehicle shop manual, owner's manual, or the type of tire fitted. Refit the wheels. Screw on the wheel nuts or studs. It is a good practice to put them on finger tight first before tightening further. Do not put the nut or stud into the socket of an impact wrench and power them on directly. This practice can lead to the wheel nuts or studs going on cross-threaded. Once the nuts or studs are ready to be torqued down, refer to the shop manual for the correct torque and tightening sequence. Typically, the lug nuts are tightened in a diagonal sequence on four stud wheels and in a star arrangement for five stud wheels until all the nuts are tight. However, there are exceptions, so the manufacturer's recommendations should be referred to. This should be done to a specification of 50% of the recommended torque for the first stage and then to 100% of the specification at the second stage, using the same tightening sequence for the particular wheel.